Hello guys, yes, Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make perfect shakarpara. Shakarpara is a traditional and very popular snack during Diwali in India. They are very crispy and soft at the same time and they melt in mouth. You can see guys, there are so many layers visible in this shakarpara and it's perfect texture of the market shakarpara. You can see they are very soft and very crispy. So guys, let's see the recipe. Today I am going to make 1 kg of shakarpara and for this I have taken 4 cups of maida. Maida means plain flour that means all purpose flour. Now I have taken a vessel and I am taking some sugar. Here is half cup of sugar and half cup again. That means I am taking 1 cup of sugar for 4 cups of plain flour. And now I am taking water. This is half cup of water. And now I am going to take half of the half cup. That means total I am taking 3 fourth cup of water for uh, 1 cup of sugar and 4 cups of plain flour. 1 teaspoon of green cardamom powder for a nice flavor. Now we need to dissolve the sugar in the water. So I am heating a little. The heat is on now. And now I am stirring it so that the sugar melts quickly. And after some time the sugar is dissolved very nicely. Now I am turning the heat off and leaving it to cool down. So I am leaving it like that and the heat is off now. Let it cool down and in the meantime we need to do some other works. So I have taken a big plate. In the plate we need to add the flour, the all purpose flour, 4 cups of flour I am taking. And now we need to take some ghee. Ghee means clarified butter. I am taking 3 4 cup of ghee for 4 cups of flour. Guys concentrate to the ratio of the things for perfect shakarpara like market. So I added the ghee into the flour and now we need to mix everything very nicely with our hands. So I am doing the same. We need to rub the flour with our hand to mix everything evenly. So let's do it. And now our flour is ready. The ghee is very nicely mixed up with the flour. So now we need to add the sugar water. Now it is warm temperature. The water should not be hot at all. If it is in normal temperature it's okay. But now it's warm then it's also okay. So now we need to add the sugar water in the flour and knead a dough. I'm mixing with my hand. And now I am going to add all the water into the flour because my measurement is perfect. So now I need to mix everything nicely with my hand. At first we cannot knead a dough with this. So after mixing very nicely we need to raise the dough. So now this is the texture but don't worry don't mix any flour with it. Now simply cover it and rest it for about uh, half an hour. So now I am covering it and leaving it for half an hour. After half an hour, this is our dough. I checked it previously and it's perfect. So you can see that it's perfectly ready and it's not sticking to my hand. So now we need to knead the dough. I'm using my hand and kneading the dough very nicely. I am removing all the dough from the plate and making a perfect dough for our shakarparas. So guys you can see that the dough is ready. It is very perfectly kneaded. And now we need to make the shakarparas. So it is a big dough. For this reason I am dividing it into two portions. And covering one portion and uh, resting it and the other portion I am going to cut it. Actually we need to roll the dough and after that we need to cut it. Then we will get our shakarparas. So leave it and we need a, a board and a rolling pin. I am making it round with my hand and after that I am going to roll it. We don't need any dry flour or ghee or oil to roll it. We can simply roll the dough like this. So we need a rolling pin and roll the dough. 
Don't roll the dough either very thin or very thick. I am showing you the thickness of the dough. So this is the thickness. This is thicker than roti or chapati and it's the perfect thickness for our shakarparas. So now we need to cut it into pieces. You may cut it into any sizes or shapes as you like. There's no problem. I am going to cut them into square shapes, but you may make them diamonds or any kind of cookie cutter shapes. There's no problem. So let's cut them all. So guys, all of them are ready as you can see. I'm showing you one shakarpara. So here it is. If you want to fry them right now, then there's no problem. You may do this. But I'm going to cut the other portion of dough like this. So I'm taking them out into a plate. So let them rest and this is our uh, second portion of the dough. I'm going to make more shakarparas using this dough. So guys, it's also ready. Now I'm going to fry them. So I'm going to fry the first batch first and the second batch next. Guys, I'm taking a fry pan because I made chakli yesterday in this fry pan. So I'm taking the same oil and same fry pan, but a deep frying pan will be better for this. So guys, I'm taking the oil and the oil is medium hot now and the heat should be on medium now. And now we need to add the shakarparas one by one into the oil. We need to fry them on medium heat after the oil is medium hot. And now I'm adding them one by one. Quickly after adding the shakarparas into the oil, we should not disturb them. We should not stir them at all. We need to wait for about 2 to 3 minutes. After the all are very white in color and they are very fluffy. After that we need to stir them. And we have to do it very carefully. They should not break. So I am doing it very carefully. And like this we need to fry them until a light golden brown color. We need to have patience for this recipe. So guys keep the heat on medium for all the time and stir them occasionally and like this fry them until a light golden red color, golden brown color. But don't make them very dark in color in the frying pan. So guys you can see the color and the color is very bright golden brown. I am showing you guys how many layers are visible in the shakarparas. You can see them. So it's the perfect color and perfect texture for the shakarparas. Now let's remove them from the oil. I'm removing them into a different strainer and keeping them like that to drain the rest of the oil. So guys here are they. They are perfectly crispy and very soft and melt in mouth texture. In the same process we'll fry all the shakarparas. And after they are cooled down perfectly, we need to store them in an airtight container and we may enjoy them for a whole month. It's so much yummy and delicious guys. So try this simple recipe during this Diwali and enjoy them. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Happy Diwali to you all.